Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Cypress Automation API series. Today we will see some more chaining example because these are the examples that you have to do in your projects and these are the real-time examples or real-time use cases that every day you have to face certain problems and how can you come overcome with that problem? How can you write a better code for API automation with Cypress? So I have come up with, uh, I was searching for some weather API. I found this meta weather API. You can easily go to Google and search for meta uh, weather API. And you just click on this first link over here. And this is the official documentation. You can see that uh, meta weather API provides an API that delivers JSON over HTTP S for access to our data. So whatever the weather API for that particular uh, city or that particular uh, uh, state or that particular location it will give you uh, the complete weather information complete forecast information for that for example let's see uh, this one uh, api location search query parameter is equal to san it means there are multiple uh, cities like san francisco san bruno something like this so it will give you the result for that so what you can do you can hit this query in your postman and you can check it over here. You don't need any authentication for that. So see, this is the query parameter I'm passing. This is the complete API, uh, weather.com, and this is a request URL, service URL, API location search, query equal to SAN. When you hit this query, you will see that, okay, yeah, number of results you are getting it. It means the cities which are starting with SAN, something like this, or having SAN in it, you can see that all the cities you are getting it. So not even a starting, it contains SAN somewhere, Santa Cruz, Santa Fe, something like that. And then every, uh, you can see complete JSON and every JSON is having a number of attributes like title, location type, uh, WOE ID, something like this, latitude or longitude is available here. Perfect. So what I want, for example, let's say I want to query this and then uh, from the first location, I want to capture the, for example, let's see title and then i want to hit that query once again so let's say i just fetch the title from the response let's see san francisco and then query especially with san francisco once again and then send it so then i'll be getting the only data for san francisco so i'll be hitting two queries in the same test case the first i'll search the query search with the query equal to san and the moment i get san then uh, I'll just capture the first title from this particular JSON array. And then again, in my next call, I'll be writing San Francisco or whatever, and then click on send. And then I'll be checking that, okay, are we getting the same title or same city or not? So this is the use case, very common use case in your uh, practical exam or practical use cases or in your real time project. Also, you will be using this. So let's do that. So I'll go to my Visual Studio code and then under my integration uh, test here, I'll be creating a separate file. So let's see, this is my uh, uh, weather api.js file. And then I'll be writing my describe block quickly. Fine, so let's see my it block, I'll be writing that uh, get, the first thing we have to use, same thing, cy dot request that we have to use it. So I simple write, I'll start from here, cy dot and uh, I simple say that my method is get call. You can see this is a simple get call guys. It's a get call and this is my service URL. So I simple write where method is in capital letter, a get here, put a comma and then what is the URL that you are going to use it? My URL is this. I'll be writing starting with SAN, not San Francisco. So this will be my query parameter SAN. Then what do you want? So this is my request after that, after that, I simply apply a dot then here and under this particular then, what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to store the response. So I simply say, okay, fine, this is my response. And then I'll be storing, I'll be coming inside the then block. Inside my then block, what I want, see this carefully, whatever the response that you are getting it, see, this is my response. So when I search for SAN, the response is huge. You can see there are multiple uh, values are coming and this is a complete JSON array. We are getting it. This is zeroth value. This is a JSON array first value like that. So we have to go to, let's see the first zeroth value. So then from there, I'll be capturing this particular title. So how will you do that? So what exactly I'm going to do? Just means from this particular response, go to body 
and from that particular body body will behave like an array now see because this is starting from this array sign can you see that there's a square bracket and ended over here with the square bracket only it means this entire body will behave like an array from this array you go to the zeroth location and then from there you just capture the title which title the first title zero title it means this is a zeroth value this is a first value from the zeroth value you just fetch the title okay so let's try only for first uh, title i'm writing it okay and then do what then you store in a constant here for example let's see this is my title uh, value that i have stored and you return the same title so let's see i simply write return the title here okay so let's see you can say let's see city name or whatever the title name any variable name you can write it for example let's see this is my city name but let's write a better name here city is equal to this and you return the same city so when you return the same city then what after that you supply the city to to the next then so what exactly i'm going to write dot then and then i'm going to capture the city over here the same city you supply to this particular second then and then do what and then here whatever you want to do with city it means then i'll be using my second call the second call is what cy dot request method i'll be calling it okay so cy dot a request method and in this particular request method i'll be doing what what is my method name my method is again get method and then what is the url so this time i'll be using this url like this see i have to use the url up to here whatever the url that you are using it up to search query parameter is equal to i'll write it over here like this and then do what query parameter plus whatever the city that you have captured the same city you can write it over here perfect so like this you can easily do it perfect because here we are capturing the city city is what whatever after this uh, hitting this api the first city is what let's see for example san francisco capture the title so that's why you have to write body zero dot title city is san francisco give it to this then and the same city you append it over here for the second call now when you do the second call then i want to verify a couple of things so then i'll be using it and then again i'll be storing in a response here and the same response i can do it now you can use it for assertion now i can write one assertion with the help of chai assertion expect what i simply say whatever the response that you are uh, getting it first you check the status so status should be equal to what so it should be equal to 200 and then i'm going to write one more expect here expect the response dot a body and then from this particular body you go to the zeroth uh, body over here and then the zeroth body is uh, let me just close it dot two method you can write it and then you can write dot two have the property is what the property which property that you want to verify i want to verify title and the title should be equal to what whatever the city that you have already captured from the first response right guys so what will happen it will capture san francisco and the same san francisco, san francisco i'm writing here it means again i'm getting an array only could be possible you might get two san francisco that could be possible so that's why I go to the zeroth location and then check that okay the title is equal to san francisco or not this is what exactly i'm doing it it means again from the second call when you hit the query with the san francisco go to the zeroth location and the title should be equal to san francisco only no hard coded value because next time it could be any value perfect so that's it the math uh, this request is ready so how many requests i have done there are two requests i have done this is my first request i would say this is my first request i'll write it over here uh first request again this is a get call and simple i'm simple writing get what get locations all locations where query is equal to what equal to san francisco and this is my second request this is my uh, second request i'll write it for the first location that you are using it first location or for the first city perfect so that's why you just you can return from one then to another then also you can do that this is what i'm trying to say so let's run it and let's see it is working or not and then we will improve this code so let me open cypress let me launch cypress go to terminal and uh, let me clear the console i simply write npx cypress open click on weather api.js and uh, let's see the test is working or not see awesome you can see test is absolutely working fine there are two get calls this is the first get call this is the second get call 
and then 200 is equal to 200 property title is matched and the title is San Francisco also got matched here perfect the two assertions that we have written both are absolutely uh, working fine here right now so now what I want I want to write one more uh, it block or one more test here what exactly let's say I want to do that for example let's say the query is equal to I'm writing am and you send the request and then you are getting multiple options here so what I want that uh, query equal to am and am is uh, with this match there are a number of titles are available see there are a number of records are available so I want to go to each and every record one by one and then I'll just pick the title and then hit the title like that so let's see for example let's say I just picked Amsterdam and query equal to Amsterdam and then send the request and then I just want to check that okay title is equal to Amsterdam or not right so how will you do that so I'll see this carefully here when you send the first request you are getting a huge JSON array this is your first value this is your second value and so on so I can from the first request I can return this entire array then in the second request I can create a loop or like for loop or something like this and then go to the JSON array index one by one capture the title and hit the second query or hit the second API right this is what exactly I'm gonna do it programmatically so let's uh, go to Visual Studio Code and uh, I'll do one thing this it block completely I'll just uh, copy it from here and we will try to enhance it so let's see this is my second one get weather information for all cities there is a spelling mistake let's see get weather information for all the cities and let's see this is it dot only means I just want to execute only this test so first time I'm just changing the query parameter to am because we will get a better data and then from here let's see this time I'm using a location variable and I simply write uh, go to simple response dot body it means give me the complete array and then store in this particular location array so here you don't need to write an array like that okay so whatever the response body that you are getting it store in this location and this location will behave like an array and the same location you return from the first then after that you start your second then here second then means you capture this location array here and then start a loop now so what exactly I'm gonna do that I'm going to start a loop so see this carefully I'm going to start a for loop here and then the for loop I'll start let's see with the let i equal to 0 and i less than what the location dot up to the length of this particular location array and then i plus plus and then I'll just close my a request somewhere over here okay just uh, here sorry close my uh, for loop here and then see this carefully what exactly I'm gonna do it I equal to 0 fine and this is my second uh, request that I'm going to execute that and then here the city this location that I'm getting it the response this array I'm appending with location and then what pass I over here right guys so what will happen first time i equal to 0 and location i it means it will go to i equal to 0 over here and from there what do you want from there i want to capture the title attribute title json so simple write dot title here when you capture this title and then you append with the main uh, url query equal to this and then hit the query so what will happen first time it will hit the query with this guy with this first title and then amsterdam and so on like this because next time i equal to one then two and then three up to the length of the location array and then what you do then whenever the moment you get with the let's see the moment you get with the amsterdam right after the second hit you are getting the response it means this is again an array it means you go to the zeroth value and then capture the title and check amsterdam is there or not so i simply write response dot body and then have the title is what the title is the same title that you are using it over here the same city that you are using it over here no need to do any hard-coded values right so let's see this is uh, working or not so I'll just open my Cypress and click on this weather api.js and let's see it is working or not see awesome one by one it will check each and every uh, city and then it's absolutely working fine here you can see that first query is am then we are getting the complete response checking with the uh, uh, Birmingham and then Amsterdam then Hamburg and then so on like that perfect you can check it with now 
with other uh, data also for example let's see now i'm checking with a uh, with san all the cities are having san means san francisco and uh, whatever is there so let's see see it's so quick first query with san then checking with san francisco san diego san jose like that santa cruz and san diego like that perfect so it's absolutely working point so these are the very common use cases guys you will face in api automation this is the first query and then get the response so in the previous video we have seen that you have to pass the response uh, and one then to another then and you can pass the response in the form of arrays also and you can pass the response in the form of the individual value also see this is the city i'm passing it so this city is behaving like a string appending it over here this time i'm passing a complete json array and then using the same array with the help of for loop and then appending over here and hitting the second query one by one and asserting it over here without any hard coded value now this san you can pass it from your from your fixture also that also you can do it so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you like this approach please implement it play with some other apis also if you have it try to improve the code try to hit multiple queries in the same ad block and let me know if you have any issues i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all